Okay, ninth graders, today we are going to be doing the forms of energy activity, and uh, you're going to open up this document found on Classroom, and you can also see it on the website or on the spreadsheet. Uh, as you look at this worksheet, notice that there are three pages, so make sure you do all of it. Most of it is just written instructions, um, but mostly what you're going to be doing is doing a simulation. Uh, three different simulations, and then filling in the blanks regarding how those different systems work. So at the very beginning, there is a link. It says energy forms and changes. You're going to click on that. And what pops up is the energy forms and changes activity. Now there's the intro, but then there's systems. I want you to click on systems. And you can see here that there's a pipe there's a wheel and there's a tank of water and that wheel is connected to the tank of water. There's also this energy symbols uh, checkbox up here. I want you to check that. And that shows you the different forms of energy that we talked about last week. Uh, we've got the gray boxes are mechanical energy, blue is electrical, red is thermal, yellow is light and green is chemical. And then uh, down here on the bottom, you have a faucet, you have sun, you have a teapot, you have a bike, uh, there is the wheel, uh, there's a solar panel, there's a tank of water, which we already have, a traditional incandescent light bulb, a fluorescent light bulb, and a fan. And so we're going to do three different simulations. The first one is going to be just the default setup here with the water pipe, uh, the wheel, and the tank of water. Now, every time you hit reset down here in the lower right-hand corner, you have to check the energy symbols box so that you can see this. Every time you hit reset, that goes away. So then check that box. Now, if I want to turn on the water, I'm going to pull on the stopper here to the right. I click and drag. And you can see the water falling that causes the wheel to turn and eventually that's going to cause this water to heat up so this is the first simulation you're going to do and like i said you're going to answer some questions about that when you're done with that one you're going to hit reset again and now we're going to switch it to the biker and the traditional light bulb and click on energy symbols and then um, you'll answer questions there at first just answer questions uh, from this picture and then you're asked to slide the slider forward to make the biker pedal and that in turn will cause some changes here. Now once you're done with that you're going to change that light bulb into a spiral fluorescent light bulb and there are some very minor differences there so I will ask you some questions about that and then finally you're going to do a solar energy one. I'm going to hit reset here and actually I have to hit reset first. So I hit the sun, I hit the solar panel, and we're going to put the fan on. And then hit my energy symbols. And then you can, again, answer the appropriate questions that are related to that. Uh, once you're done filling in all those blanks, you are done. And then just go ahead and turn it in on Classroom.